Okay, so uh, Fan Simon, so he's come to the last sections of the day. So the last session will be concluded by myself. Uh, so I will try to share about uh, what is talking about the, the open banking is a how and embedded finance is a why. Why I come to this topic, um, actually it's pretty much also um, some observation from, uh, from us, from the community in the past three years. So um, I, I have been working in the uh, Hong Kong API community for quite a while. And then we talked to a lot of banks, enterprise, uh, working with some palace, uh, TSP, etc., and then we can see there's some some gaps there, and also maybe the understanding of open banking uh, is quite different. So we have been in the, I would say we are a lot of fintech company or fintech team. We say we are tech fin. So we provide the technologies to help uh, the, the the parties to easier to integrate together from the operation perspective, from the cultural perspective. So this is really feeling strong. And then uh, three months ago, I actually uh, take a take a take time off, and then I I try to uh, uh, pay, uh, do a study in UK uh, with uh, uh, executive executive education talking about the open banking. So this is also what I learned from the regional experts. And this is the key takeaway. So open banking is actually a tool for how, and then the actual meaningful thing is talk about the open part finance or the embedded finance. Hopes that the next 20 minutes, I can also have to share some foundation about this. And I'm not going to steal the spotlight from our day one speaker. They are really experienced in the banking field. And then I would like to share something in the middle. Okay. So let me try to pick the control. <sighs> okay, so maybe back to the original part. So why open banking? So uh, we, we heard about the open banking in Hong Kong three uh, years ago. And we, we all think it is a good good thing. And then, oh, some developers believe that oh, they can do some application on, on top of banking services, etc. But uh, what is the history? So I want to maybe share a bit on, on the back one here. So uh, this is basically um, uh, from a, a vision of uh, the, the, the modern banking. It's talking about the traditional bank is more as a you know, coast model. So the, the data is there and then you may not know what is happening. But OK, they may need to collaborate due to the, 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 the different kind of uh, factors or reasons I will uh, share in the next slide. And then there's also another emphasis is talking about the control of the data from the consumer's perspective. So uh, we do a lot of things in, in the bank, but uh, can we leverage the, the historical data and then maybe authorize the other people to have a pet better service? There's also some increasing discussion. As, uh, is the consumer uh, deserve a better experience with the control of the data? And also, there, there's also the third point is, um, this, this is also be a discussion talk about the shift of the control. Talk about first, uh, where, uh, who is the owner of the data. Okay, so this this three uh, initiative actually in, in spy. Okay, so we do uh, something like the open banking. Okay, There's, uh, there are also another trend that is happening. Uh, it is not new in the past few years, is the race of fintech. There's a lot of fintech companies try to do a lot of things very innovative in a specific domain. And then, uh, okay, uh, this is mainly due to the the, the context is uh, starting to have differences. In the past, uh, in our past days, we need to go to the bank, need to use the phone to call the services. But with the smartphone, actually, we can do it every everywhere. And then with the uh, uh, the, the evolution of the phone, it is now uh, more and more convenient as well. So it provides a better engagement and we're in different contexts. And uh, how, whether those fintech can also try to leverage some data for a better service. So how can they maybe acquire the data uh, on behalf the, uh, of the customer? So this is something that has um, happened even before the open banking. Okay, so, okay, do you have a question talking about how the fintech collect data before the open API? So if you are some technical person, uh, there should be a term that you are not uh, very, you should be familiar. So it's talking about the, the screen scrapping. So in the old days, uh, we may program maybe using Python, go to a website to grab some data here and then make it structural so that we can use it for another angle. Okay, so this is also happening previously. So before the open API standard, or even even nowadays, not uh, every region is having the open banking uh, push or regulations. There is still quite popular for some of the fintechs is using the screen scrapping technologies. But um, this is also some problem. Is this actually pushing the the the, the user at risk because um. 
they don't know who, the, what the data will be used, whether the data is correct or not. If you are using this kind of data to make decision, who will be the uh, uh, responsible for that and what is the liability? So this is uh, before the open bank, open banking or open API framework things. So uh, this create a, 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 a tension between the fin fintech company and also the banks. So fintechs, we, they always want, want to look for data in innovative way, maybe full screen scrapping, log in on behalf of the others, but maybe they are not having the uh, compete regulations or a uh, full process to protect the consumer. While the bank in two perspective, one, uh, okay, of course, they need to protect the kind. If there's any issues, it's maybe their liability and responsibility. And also this kind of actions potentially is actually grabbing the, 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 the pipe. So they are actually trying to uh, grab the, the, the client, maybe steal the, some of the existing process or service, etc. So this actually create a, a discussion. Okay, whether we should set something up together so that it can work smoothly. So the open banking actually define the how. So uh, how we need to uh, acquire the data from a bank in what kind of uh, uh, process. For example, you may heard about the, the TSP, the, the, the third party, first service party uh, 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 registration, et cetera, or even the certifications. So this is talking about how they need to acquire the data with what kind of background and also define uh, what uh, is the basic API that at least needs to be open, open up from the bank. So uh, it look, uh, if you are familiar with the open banking phase that I post, so uh, it, the, the following diagram is not something uh, really new. So at this, at this moment, Hong Kong is already in the phase three uh, implementations. So you can see that, okay, the product information, the, uh, the, the maybe the, the basic uh, customer application, like the credit card applications is already ready. Uh, and then the, uh, talking about the account information assets is now in process. Some of the bank is already fulfilled in the, uh, in the retail perspective the, for the SME is in, in progress. But um, if you have a chance to talk to some of the FinTech or even from the bank, uh, we also have a, a discussion, take, okay, whether it is really enough for the FinTech or for, for some useful use cases. So, um, so I, I, why, why, it's, why, why we are saying so? Because the data is there, but uh, if we need to do the regulations and next certain uh, uh, data can be exposed for API, it need to be, have a very uh, long process to, to check the ways, et cetera. And then uh, when, when we come to the, the actual use cases, whether we think it is uh, uh, something that make revenue or it is uh, maybe a combined project or, or some waste project, et cetera, the, the, the intention will be very different. If you are working in an enterprise, you will know, okay, uh, who is the sponsor? If you if the, the sponsor is actually seeing the value behind, they will be very supportive. But this is a project that maybe putting them in a waste, maybe losing a business, uh, maybe creating overhead, then it's very normal that uh, people will receive back. But it is quite interestingly, when we are working in the community in the past few years, we do hearing some, some interesting uh, stories. Is that, oh, actually the bank, has a lot of hidden variables, maybe hidden genes behind. So they, they actually have more APIs than you think. But this is the but but it may not be defined in the in the open API framework. So what is the problem? The problem is um is why I need to open up to you. So back to the original statement of the topic here. So the open banking actually define the, the basic way how we, 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 can, we can exchange the data, et cetera. But uh, this is still the problem. Why we need to do open banking? What is the benefit? So um, I want to take uh, the, 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 the talk here to share about some of the, our common uh, experience. Okay, when, when there's a bank want to look for TSP, when a TSP wants to look at a bank, this is it's always like a matching. So why? the bank will be valuable to the TSP, or, or on the other hand, why the TSP is valuable to, to the bank. So uh, we need to justify that just like in day one, we are able to have chance to listen to uh, some, some executive uh, from banks, uh, from, uh, from virtual banks, et cetera. So you can see that they are actually doing something uh, of, of, of very interesting. And uh, especially in day one, we heard about a concept called your brand, our networks. They are willing to share the network, especially if you, are, you can help them to make new business. 
Okay, so the why you we, we will say about is talking about the, the embedded finance contest. So how actually you can fill the gap that the maybe the bank uh, cannot be uh, effectively fulfilled at this moment. So if you can address this kind of a uh, uh, problem, uh, I can see most of the bank is is very open to to do the discussion. Of course, the next step will be okay. You have the context. How can you resolve the technical uh, operation or cultural concern? And then this is the part that my team is actually helping on to lower the 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 the, the, the barrier, etc. But the the more important thing is the the context. Okay, so what exactly is the, is the embedded or open finance? So uh, actually Simon Stock also mentioned a bit, okay, the open API and then the next step is we heard about open finance, but where, what exactly is this? So I am going to share uh, a bit on, on that one as well. So um, I, I, I extract this one from the website, the openbankingeurope.eu. So um, the, uh, this open finance is not like open banking, it's not very well defined. So um, I can see a lot of uh, different interpretation, but this one is quite reasonable, I can say. This is like a, a open finance is like a shorthand means, uh, to, uh, which is uh, to, uh, talking about the open banking activity go beyond the current regu uh, regulatory scope. Okay, so in the Europe, it's talking about the PSD2, but in Hong Kong, we are having the open API framework. So this is some activity, let's say some similar foundations, cultural, food API for different collaboration, but it is more uh, talking about the market driven. Okay, so uh, we will describe the open, fi open finance as like the continuity of the open banking, which is like the next step. Uh, is this the technical next step? Is a lot because um, the open banking, I, I, as we can see in the past three years, it allowed a lot of awareness, uh, openness, or cultural education. People start to shift their, their, their thinking a bit. So open finance, uh, we can say it is an evolution from different panel perspective, not only from the technical perspective, from the mindset, etc. And then what it focuses is the actual financial journey with different embedded contexts. In, in, in Chinese, we heard about it before, talk about the Changing Gam Yong. So um, this is how we inject specific context in a white time, white moment. And then with that, that kind of open finance um, uh, 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 collaborations, the TSP or the business can help to assess, assess some relevant data so that they can have a better more scalable, uh, more contextual, uh, uh, at least to help the uh, actually consumer. And then what we can see, open finance is not yet regulated. So it's the low low regulation at this moment, but in the future, we don't know. But uh, in, in many different regions, we, we still say it's not yet regulated. Okay, so I, I uh, talk about the open finance. Open finance so that you are yeah, not open to, to to, to, to different opportunity. But the problem is, okay, how we can embed different contexts. Then this is talking about the embedded finance. So in this graphics, uh, we can say, if once we do the open banking, we blend the assets and data, so you can check the data. For example, in the open banking phase three, you can check the account information or whether the account is active. So you check that. But but if uh, what is the meaning? Okay, I, I can check the balance, but but what else? For example, I know that I have uh, a certain amount of balance, but what is the next step? It, it, it is without the actual contextual scenario and also the motivation for, for the next step for the, for the team to support that. While with the open finance, you can see that there's a lot of different kind of scenario that is surrounding. For example, the payroll, whether we can do some automatically payroll, we don't need to have a uh, a can team to do the menu uh, upload of the Excel, etc. Uh, can we do some uh, maybe the automatic loan? For example, when we want to buy a car, can we buy the car insurance immediately with a discount? So this kind of thing is talking about the embedded finance. Okay, so there's a, a few type of embedded uh, finance uh, situation that we can we can uh, sum up. Uh, one I, I mentioned is, is talking about the, the payment. So pay, payment part is not something new. So maybe, okay, so what's the difference is talking about the credit card. I think this is very similar. The law with the uh, bank to, the, the, I would say the account to account payment like the FPS. So it, it actually helped uh, a lot to talk about the removing the intermediate fee, et cetera. So it enable, for example, we also have some cases how to enable some uh, FPS payment collection in, in some e-commerce solution, which may not be in, in the platform, but enable the developer to collect money easier. So this is also the embedded payment. 
the embedded banking services, maybe the exact uh, banking services will not be happening in the in, in the internet banking or mobile banking, but actually embed into other uh, maybe accounting system or ERP system. So this is something that they can, you, you don't need to go to a, a specific login. And one of the pain point uh, we heard and I review as well, is that the traditional internet banking, the, the account may be tied to the founder or director or board. So, but um, you really difficult to delegate to, to, to the other team to help you to manage. Okay, for example, um, when my secretary needs to log in uh, my, my bank, they, they always need to call me, okay, what is the, the, two, the, the second factor of and password, etc. cetera. So it's really troublesome. And this is also risky as well. Okay, so you can see that uh, we have fleeced out a, a bit of uh, the embedded finance uh, 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 example, like embedded investment, lending, uh, at the insurance I mentioned about, okay, I buy the, the, the car, can we actually get the car insurance immediately? And you can actually emerge and you can embed, embed a lot of things. Just like uh, Simon also mentioned, if the bank, they enable a lot of a different kind of API, the API may not need to be a banking service, maybe a different kind of thing. So uh, talking about the open banking, this is the first step to inject the, the concept. So we start with a few uh, uh, API or data, but what we can expect is, oh, once we can get the foundation and culture uh, running smoothly, there's a lot can be happening beyond the traditional banking uh, context. Okay, so they, uh, we also know that um, there's a different kind of uh, perspective, especially compared, I think Hong Kong is quite, quite special somehow. So we are actually always sitting uh, between the East and West. We have both culture, we have both experience. So we, we have the WeChat, we also using WhatsApp, Facebook. So uh, we can see in, in, in the Europe and US, how they do the embedded finance is very different from the China way. Okay, as you can see in this um, slide, so um, different kind of context, they are quite separate. We said it's unbundled, so there's, there's no super app doing uh, everything. So they have an app, they finish a specific operation and then they will integrate and pass the data to the other part. So there's a lot of um, specialized um, uh, uh, software that you may assemble through your entire business, like, like you, uh, what you can see in the screen. Wow, uh, we can see in, in, in China, we will have something like the mega app. So they, they actually serve as a container and then they in, in, inject and using the ecosystem within the, 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 the super app. For example, uh, we, I have a project actually working with a university. They use the software called Ding Ding and then they use it to manage orders, uh, maybe CRM, the payment, finance, etc. And then with the, uh, uh, which we call the, the mini app. Using to, to to solve that, so this they are doing it in very different kind of a, a perspective to to implement the embedded finance. Okay, there's a quite some uh, example we can see. Uh, let now this is happening also in Hong Kong. Okay, about the embedded finance. Uh, uh, there's quite some implementation, especially they, uh, uh, with the CVS program, we do the online shopping. We can see there's a lot of uh, new payment uh, options. For example, the, the, the buy or pay later, I, I've also tried it. So uh, for, as a layman user, you actually don't feel any difference. Unlike the old day, you need to do a lot of poses talking about the, 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 the set of different multiple installment. And then talking about the point of sales uh, lending, maybe, okay, when you are, doing some purchase online, they will pop you whether you want to have some specific service. So this is uh, it based on your behavior. And uh, I, I'm not repeating the insurance part, but the fintech, fintech as a service is another angle. This is not from the bank, but from the other fintech, like the, the maybe the invoicing, uh, the accounting software, how they can embed to your daily workflow involving the bank's uh, operation. We do also have a uh, experience uh, use case uh, that we can quickly share uh, in the later of this line. So, uh, okay, I, I bas basically talk about the, the open banking. This is the how and the embedded context. Again, what we are trying to do and our, our team expertise is mainly on the enriching the community so that we are we are very lucky that we have a lot of uh, fans and speakers supporting the event. So um, we, we see uh, in the past few years, we see some common uh, uh, challenges uh, in, the, in the ecosystem. For example, uh, when we talk about the open finance, it's always involved um, cross sector cultural. For example, we have experience working with a bank and education technologies. 
maybe education firm may not understand what is API. They leave some some gap or page to explain them. And maybe okay, in the tourism, tourism they lead to in interact with their uh, instruments. They may not to um, have the exact language and technologies. Uh, for example, in the tourism, they may not have a big IT team. So we can see a lot of uh, gap there, uh, including, for example, a lot with the uh, suitable skill. They may not also have the with without uh, uh, a track record. Uh, we have to also see that. Talking about the open banking uh, collaborations, uh, they are hesitate to uh, invest a, a, a lot of often investment. Maybe in this one or two day, you heard a lot of a uh, technology thing. Okay, we can have a data platform, we can have a um, API gateway. But uh, what, what I understand uh, in the early stage, um, those companies may not have the luxury to invest a bit and cannot justify internally. Maybe the the in, in initial dollar side, they 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 don't know how uh, how much is it. And of course, they need to prove some of the the work uh, quicker for the uh, quicker time to market. So um, it, well, our company, what we are doing is we are helping to do some strategy, and then we have a ready make platform called Open API Hub, and we have a community. Like today, some of our community members are also joining, and also we have a connector platform called Fiber Connect, so that the the fintech or the bank or enterprise they don't need to rebuild their own, and then they can do the POC connection very quickly. So this is basically how we are doing a lot of days. This is one example that we are helping bank to do the embedded uh, payment and payment collections. So for example, um, a lot of days beside the, the wallet, they, we do also have the APS QR code collections, but a lot of every company have their own IT team to build their uh, online platform. So we actually help to do the connectors with our platform. So some peop some company maybe with, with only one or two people, they just, subscribe the connector so that they can use the embedded payment uh, module in their website, yeah, their e-commerce system, or their education uh, tutorial fee collection system. So this is how we try to bridge the gap and then lower the barrier that uh, the TSP don't need to require a high investment, often uh, investment on the team, etc. So this is some some connector we are always supporting, uh, like Zero, WooCommerce, OpenCard, even Calendly. Yo, I, I think some of you are already using Calendly to book your meetings, but some some of you may use Calendly to book consulting sections. So why why don't we just collect the money at that time? So this is a, a very simple uh, example on the embedded payment. Okay, so uh, last year we also uh, worked with um, DSPS and Zero to launch the first uh, FPS payment plugin. And now uh, I would also uh, very proud to share, uh, we are also working with the ecosystem quite closely. So our, our Open API platform also working with the uh, Science Park to empower their next generation Open API uh, hub platform so that they can help to uh, collaborate uh, their staff and the FinTech Pala through our platform so that they don't need to spend a lot of effort, time to build their infrastructure as well. And previously, we also helped uh, one of the banks to do an open uh, banking innovation program called API Ecosystem, Eco Booster. So I saw the, the time is almost um, up. So um, I would say if you are interested to uh, make more connections and then how to form better collaboration, feel free to wish us out. And also we are doing a lot of different API community events as well. So uh, just keep in touch, uh, let us know, and then we will also do some webinar workshop in next few months uh, with different partners. Okay, so uh, see whether we have some question. I think the, uh, the, the time is almost up. That, um, Okay, there's one question, maybe I quickly answer that one. So there's a people call, are asking, so open finance, is it said to be include open health? So if you try to look into that topic, uh, we will set the next step, the open finance will set open data. So uh, the, this is a bigger vision. Maybe uh, let's recall the, the, one of the talk in day one, uh, we, we do have the telco data as well. So uh, it's just talking about a border view talk about the open finance, how we can leverage the data to better improve our life. And then, uh, for example, in Australia, they are also having the data uh, initiative, how to talk about beyond the open banking. So um, we, I have a lot to, to share and exchange. So feel free to uh, talk to me if you have you are interested. So maybe I will uh, try to spend the time to do the closure of the event. OK, so I, I let me switch the slide here. Once again, I thanks everyone joining the API Days Hong Kong. And uh, let me share my culture slide.
Wait a minute. 